Pastor Emer, I think it's important for us as believers to share our faith because Christ commanded us to do that. You know, yeah. Matthew chapter 28 says, therefore go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Yes. That that's our call as believers to make disciples. When Jesus was um, with the disciple the last time, he said, go and share the gospel. It is amazing that Jesus gave us just one task, is go and share. Amen. If we are loving others, we need to share the gospel with others. Yes. How would you suggest, Pastor Emer, for, for folks in our church, if they struggle with you know, trying to find an avenue to share their faith, where could they start? We need to know that to share the gospel is a tremendous blessing to us. And also, it is not in my power. That's the thing. Sometimes we are afraid. Uh, we don't know the words. We don't know how to tell mm -hmm. the people, but I am going to tell you something. The Holy Spirit mm -hmm. is putting out the right words in our mouth. Mm -hmm. You don't need to go to attend the seminary. No. You don't need to go to attend the evangelism classes. You need to go and mm -hmm. share mm -hmm. how great mm -hmm. and how God is doing miracles mm -hmm. in your life. And the people are going to say, what? Yeah. This is your God? Amen. Yes. Yeah. Um, Lord willing, God, yeah. we are going to see more yeah. people. Amen. We're not given a spirit of fear, we're given a spirit of love and a Amen. sound mind. You know, a lot of folks, I know believers think, well, that's the pastor's job or the leader's job to share the, to share the gospel and to share their faith. But really, as you said, we're all called to do that as believers, to, to go. That isn't just for, for leaders or pastors or teachers or whatever profession we are. Um, we're, chi we're children of God, really. And, yes. and God calls all of and us we as are children. Disciples. And we're disciples. And God, if God has changed your life, you have a specific influence with the people that are nearest to you. I always say start with those that are closest to you, ones that you already have relationships built with, possibly a coworker. You know, your job, there's no better place. You're, you're there how often, you know, eight, 10 hours a day, you're around these folks. Maybe that's inviting them to a small group. Um, they might not be ready to, to make a decision for Christ at that moment, but invite them into the community of believers where they can see God at work. And when I, th I think when they see God at work and God working, that, that desire within people who don't know Christ, uh, God begins to stir that up in somebody's heart and soul that they realize that this is what they need. You know, there's power in the testimony. And so to, to know your story really well is when you know your story, and you, you know it really well, that's right. And you know the specific time and place that God spoke into your story. I find there's nothing easier for me to share with somebody else than the time I came to faith in Christ. All of us as believers have come to that place of need. So yeah. speaking from your place of need, and boy, that makes people desire the same change Amen. they really want, because people w should want what we have. They shouldn't look at us as believers and say, oh, I, I don't, I don't wanna be a Christian. We, people should be wanting and desiring to be a believer Amen. because of God's work in our life. We need to go yes. and share the gospel. Mm -hmm. And sometimes we are doing the opposite uh, way. We are inviting to come, to come, but we need to go. Every single person who is attending Christ Wesleyan Church is like a missionary in their towns, in their neighborhood. They are the lighthouse. And the people they are going to see the love and the light of Jesus Christ. There is a dying world out there desperate for the good news of Jesus Christ. We should not be silent. As believers, we should be looking for every opportunity. I wanna see people coming to faith in Christ. I wanna see people in heaven. I wanna see people living that abundant, joyful life that, that God has promised us. And I think when we have that desire, 
God provides us those opportunities. Mm -hmm. God will begin to bring those people into our lives, Amen. into our surroundings that Amen. need Him. We don't have to worry. If you are not sharing the gospel, it is, it is going to be sad. The people are going to spend the eternal life in another place. Yes. That is the reason, yes. Pastor Bill, we need to go. Amen. We need to share. Yes. We need to open our mouths mm -hmm. and say how great yes. is our God.